Ever wondered how critical a role archery played in ancient warfare? From the plains of Mesopotamia to the rolling hills of Greece, the bow and arrow were the long arm of any ancient army. A well-placed arrow could turn the tide of any battle, allowing for attacks from distances that were previously unimaginable. This tactical advantage changed the face of warfare, transforming it from a contest of brute strength to a strategic game of chess. Across the globe, different regions developed their unique archer units, each with their distinct skills and tactics. They were the snipers of their time, capable of taking down an enemy from afar, often before the enemy even knew what hit them. But among these various archer units, there stood a group of warriors who were renowned for their skill and precision. They hailed from the island of Crete and were known as the Cretan archers. One such renowned group of archers hailed from the island of Crete. They were the Cretan archers. The Cretan archers, a class of warriors known for their specialist skills, came into prominence in ancient warfare. These proficient marksmen were not just ordinary foot soldiers, they were a unique breed of warriors who hailed from the island of Crete in the Mediterranean. As their reputation for precision and potency spread, they became an integral part of the city-state armies of Athens, Sparta, Eritrea, Macedonia, and even Rome. These archers typically fought unarmored, but historical sources reveal that some donned linothorax or leather armor, helmets, and even a cuirass. Their arsenal wasn't limited to bows and arrows alone. They were also equipped with small shields and possibly swords, suggesting they were not just long-range fighters, but were also capable of holding their ground in close combat. These archers were not just from Crete, but Cretan often denoted a style of tactics and equipment. So, when we talk about the Cretan archers, we're not just talking about men from Crete, but a distinct style of warfare that left an indelible mark on ancient history. The Cretan archers were not just skilled, but their strategies in battle were commendable. Their prowess with the bow and arrow was not their only strength. Their ability to adapt, to think on their feet, and to use their environment to their advantage set them apart on the battlefield. In the vast tapestry of ancient warfare, the Cretan archers were highly sought after mercenaries. Their reputation was such that they were employed by the likes of Alexander the Great and the Diadochi, the successors of Alexander's empire. Their value, however, was not just in their archery skills, but also in their ability to withstand adversity, to hold their ground, and to turn the tide of battle when it seemed most against them. One of the most notable instances of their resilience and resourcefulness can be traced back to the retreat of the Ten Thousand, following the Battle of Cunaxa in 401 BC. Here, the Cretan archers found themselves in the service of the Greek mercenary army, surrounded and pursued by Persian troops. Despite being cut off from supplies and outnumbered, the Cretan archers held their ground. In a remarkable display of resourcefulness, they gathered and reused the spent Persian arrows, even going so far as to seize bowstrings from the local peasantry. This not only allowed them to continue fighting, but also disrupted the Persian advance. Their ability to adapt and to turn a disadvantage into an advantage is a testament to their skill and tenacity. However, it would be remiss to not mention that the Cretan archers were not without their shortcomings. Xenophon, an ancient Greek philosopher and historian, records that the Cretan archers were outranged by their Persian counterparts and suffered losses because they wore no armor. Yet, even with this disadvantage, they remained a formidable force on the battlefield. Despite some shortcomings, the Cretan archers were well recognized as some of the best light missile troops in the ancient world. Their skill, their adaptability, and their resilience continue to echo through the annals of history, marking them as one of the great military units of the ancient world. The legacy of the Cretan archers continues to resonate in the annals of ancient warfare. Their reputation as some of the finest light missile troops of their time is not just a historical footnote, but a testament to their prowess and innovative tactics. Their skills were highly sought after, earning them respect and positions in the armies of great leaders like Alexander the Great. They were not merely archers, but versatile warriors who could also defend themselves in close combat. 
their tactical use of small shields, and the ability to reuse spent enemy arrows, display a level of resourcefulness that was nothing short of revolutionary. These strategies have echoed down the centuries, influencing military tactics and the use of archers in warfare. The Cretans were more than just mercenaries, they were game changers, their methods setting a precedent for future generations. The story of the Cretan archers is a testament to their skills, tactics, and the pivotal role they played in shaping ancient warfare.